Ugh. All right, let's see what we're reviewing today. Oh, really? Aaron, get in here! What? Are you serious? You want me to review this? Yep. Get to it. <sighs> Welcome to Rask's Virtual Classics. Today we will be playing Double Dungeons until we win. Wait, what? say about double dungeons really what can I say I don't like it I don't even know why I'm reviewing it because I said so I do all of the editing and writing all you have to do is sit there and play video games and talk to a camera I do all the hard boring work and now it's your turn yeah playing this one does feel like work why did you even download in the first place when the virtual console first launched I was looking for an RPG I hadn't played before there wasn't much to choose from, and this one had the added benefit of being two-player. Okay then, but why are we ripping off? Quit stalling. Play the game. Alright, alright, slave driver. I guess the best place to start is... at the start? Rockin', gives you the impression that the game's gonna be all action-packed. If you're all like, I can't wait to get started, I'll be swinging my sword all over the place. Yeah. Looks like we've got 22 dungeons. I guess they're color-coded for difficulty. I'm just gonna skip all the way down to the last dungeon. <laughs> Man, this is gonna take no time at all. What? I need a password to start this level. Fine. Looks like I'm starting at level 1. The king dispatched the warrior to the dungeon in order to find the kingdom's missing treasure. Wait, I'm playing as the warrior? I'm totally imagining this guy wandering through dungeons fighting slimes. Alright, here I am in the dungeon. It's your typical first person maze setting, but your view is limited to only a quarter of the screen. You've got this whole section of the screen down here being completely wasted. I don't need to be reminded constantly what game I'm playing. Over here is a description of what's going on, pretty standard. And up here are my stats. Level 1 of course, I just started. I only need 8 XP to level and- Whoa 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 whoa! I'm using a dagger and a pan lid? A pan lid?! I thought I was the warrior, not the cook! The king must be pretty desperate for help if this is the best he can do. You there! All my treasure is missing! Go into the dungeon and find it for me! Uh, okay. I'll need a sword and a shield if I am to succeed. Um... Yes, uh, go into the kitchen. You may outfit yourself with whatever you find there. Don't you have an armory or a blacksmith or someplace I can get a sword? Now go, brave warrior! Our kingdom is in your hands! Yeah? What about my shield? You're still here? I said go, brave warrior! Our kingdom's fate is in your hands! Fine, fine, I'm going, crackpot king. I suppose it's time to get to the actual gameplay and why I don't care for this game. It has the most simple RPG battle system possible. You press the 2 button to attack, and the 1 button accesses your inventory. That's it! You only have one attack, and you just keep mashing the 2 button repeatedly until you or the monster dies. Or you can run away, which is really easy, since none of the enemies will chase you. In fact, the monsters in these dungeons don't move at all. Ever. It feels more like fighting cardboard cutouts than monsters. None of the monsters do anything other than a standard attack. The only thing that makes one monster different from another is the amount of HP, attack power, and XP that it gives. The entire game just becomes a grind session as you wander through the maze killing enough low level enemies for XP until you're strong enough to kill the higher level enemies. And I hate grinding. Oh stop whining. It's not all bad. Music's pretty good. 
Got a lot of energy and pretty epic sounding melody. I don't think I could ever get tired of listening to it. And it's got two player. Games are always more fun with two players. Alright then, sit down and play it with me. I was gonna ask Critical Failure, but since you're here and trying to defend it, let's see how long you can last. Fine, move over you baby. Ah, this music is driving me crazy. It's the same thing looped over and over again. I've got better things to do than this. Here's the rest of the script. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. In spite of how long and boring this game is, it looks like I'll be playing it to the end. And here's some of my tips on helping you conquer the double dungeons. First off, you're in a maze. You can map out each maze if you really want to, but I found that if you always choose to go right whenever the path branches, you should end up seeing everything you need to finish each level. Of course, you're going to run into some enemies you aren't strong enough to kill. Just turn around and keep going right. After a couple laps around the area of the dungeon you're in, you should gain a few levels and be able to kill the monster that was giving you trouble. That brings me to my next point. You should learn what level you need to be in order to kill each enemy type. If you're not sure if you're strong enough, you can walk in and hit it. If you only do one damage, step back and try again later. You can also use this strategy to make sure that you hit first. If you attack and miss, step back and try again before they get a chance to attack you. When you find the store, you're going to want to buy the best sword and shield. If you don't have enough money, run another lap around the dungeon killing things until you can. Don't waste your money buying the cheaper stuff. Even the best equipment doesn't add that much to your attack and defense, so it won't help you a lot against the monsters in the dungeon. But you'll want every little bonus you can get against the dungeon boss. You're also going to want at least one refresh for the boss fight. The refresh is the only recovery item that's really any use. The rest of the food you find only heals you a tiny bit, so you might as well use them as you find them. To get to the dungeon boss, you'll need to find the unicorn key in the treasure chest somewhere in the maze. You'll most likely find the key before you're strong enough to kill the boss anyway, so it's not too hard to find. For the first set of dungeons, you're going to want to be around level 12. You may be able to do it at level 11 if you have a couple refreshes though. When you find the special looking door, use the unicorn key and you'll face off against the mine. Believe me. You're going to die, maybe once, if you're not paying attention. Actually, you fight this guy the same way you fight everything else in the game. Mash the button repeatedly. If you drop below 50 HP, use your refresh and you should be able to take this guy down. You'll get one number from a password. Make sure you write it down. This password is for the final dungeon, so if you don't write it down, you'll never see the end. An imprisoned mime had cast a spell. What spell? A steal all the treasure and teleport to the bottom of a dungeon and fill that dungeon with monsters spell? I wish I had a spell like that. With the warrior's hard work, the treasure is now returned to the king. Right on, the king's got his treasure back. That means I get some kind of reward, right? A better sword and armor? No? I get the title screen. Okay, on to dungeon two, and... What? 
I'm level 1? No, no, no. No. I was level 12. What kind of nonsense are they pulling here? Ugh. This is gonna take a while. Okay, so I got a strong sword and some silver armor. <laughs> That's a funny name. That's gotta be a mistake. <laughs> strong sword. Finally! I got all the pieces of the password, and now I can get to the final dungeon. Let's just enter the password. Fine, move over, you baby. Ah, keep that out of that shot. 